Robot war dogs are becoming increasingly popular as military tools, but as they become more advanced, some people are beginning to worry about their potential to be used as weapons against civilians. Take for example Spot the Robot, the Boston Dynamics robot. A while back, we saw pictures of Spot the Robot on Twitter. Those pictures were taken during French military school training exercises, and Spot was used as a spotter in those exercises. But that wasn't a serious exercise because Boston Dynamics is against the use of robots to harm humans. They have said multiple times that they won't allow their robots to be used in military operations that might harm people, so you got nothing to worry about. But dog robots by Ghost Robotics? Well, that's a completely different situation. Ghost Robotics doesn't have a problem with using robots in the military. In an effort to automate key aspects of the space station's safety and security, the United States Space Force recently staged a demonstration at Cape Canaveral including the use of robot dogs to do security patrols. The robot dogs are equipped with sight and auditory sensors, and they can be coded to either follow the commands of a human controller or operate independently of any outside influence. The test took place on July 27, and the Space Force afterwards published a few photographs showing its employees controlling the two robot dogs that were present during the exercise. In order to save a substantial amount of man-hours, the robots are designed to do physical labor and repetitive duties, as well as damage assessments and patrol. Since almost two years ago, the United States Air Force, which is in charge of the United States Space Force, has started using robot dogs at its facilities. They were deploying these robot dogs as a force multiplier in order to boost their situational awareness by patrolling regions that were unsafe for both people and vehicles to enter. Therefore, it is possible that the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station may soon be under the electronic surveillance of the dystopian incarnation of man's best friend. The potentially dangerous animals have been examined by the authorities in the past, but the results haven't always been positive. The New York Police Department was forced to put down their robot dog in April 2021 as a result of criticism from the general population. A few months later, people once again voiced their concerns over the robot dog when a video was circulated on Twitter showing one of the robot dogs equipped with a submachine gun. This is not an unfounded worry, as there have already been cases of robots harming people. In 2015, a robot at a Volkswagen plant in Germany killed a worker when it grabbed and crushed him against a metal plate. A year later, a robot in a Chinese factory stabbed a worker to death. These incidents are rare, but they do show that robots can be dangerous if they are not properly controlled. It is important to remember that robot war dogs are not yet common and that the incidents of them harming people are still rare. However, as they become more common, it is important to be aware of the risks they pose. We need to make sure that they are properly controlled and monitored so that they do not pose a danger to people.